I still don't understand what Dragon's Dogma 2 is. I've had a lot of people recommend Dragon's Dogma to me without telling you what this game is. There are so many screenshots of people making photorealistic characters in here. Like a perfectly accurate, like Daenerys Targaryen. I've seen like Baldur's Gate characters. We got Geralt, we've got Kratos, but I wanna see, oh, we got Timothy Chalamet from Dune. I wanna see how cursed we can get though. Cause I've seen a lot of like, this looks really good. This is like remarkable looking, but I haven't seen anybody do like really wacky cursed. So I wanna see if it can get like Dark Souls or worse level of cursed. So let's let's give this a shot. The character you create can be carried over to Dragon's Dogma 2. You can also make edits to your finalized character or customize them from a blank slate using the character creator. Create the Arisen, you can either select a preset or two. No, I'm, I'm creating new. Break a new one. We can do regular build. Regular build with titties. Furry. Furry with titties. What about the back? How's the donk factor? Not much donk on that thing. These are some flat ass characters. Chance saying titties are always a win. I'm with that. We've had too many wiener clad characters. Oh, oh, okay. Yo, we can get so tall. A small. So small. I kind of want to go very tall and muscly. So these are all the presets. Can I get like, y'all know how much I love hyper-saturated, bright ass art class colors. Oh. This one's speaking to me. We're gonna go with this one. She looks like she gets possessed by a demon in like the new Ghostbusters movie. It just keeps going. They drill in so much. <laughs> okay, now we're just, this is unnecessary levels of presets. Yeah, oh my God, she's so built. Oh, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Her face is covered up by my dumbass. I'm gonna hide, no, wait, I wanna keep chat though. All right, I'm hiding chat. <laughs> Sorry chat, all right, we're in. Damn, hold on, these thighs though. Shit. Hey, there's the dog factor. Woo! Damn. She's not just like caked up. She's got a wedding cake. That thing's got layers. She look with gear on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now it's time for head. Big head. Tiny head. I, I, let's get big. If she ever asked you, did you eat today? You better make that answer a yes. She is distinctly just a head plonked down on that body. All right, inside. Oh, no, 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 no. Big, wide, um, chest shape. This game has everything. This game has everything. We can, we can crush a beer can between those things. This is not me moving a slider. She can just do that. Rear size. Hey. Hey. She can rest a beverage on that thing. Nice and slow like. Shit. What are we feeling for Granny's walk style? Ooh, big wide stance. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Posture. <laughs> she got that backwards walk. What about forward? Oh! <laughs> I love it leaning backwards so much. This is just so stupid. Uh, all right, base head. I mean, I'm gonna tweak it anyway. So like, I'm just gonna do this. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's what we're gonna tweak them all. Whoa, we can go gray. They got a wet and wild slider. Yeah, she's she's real oiled up and greasy. Eye size, I want small. Eye angle. Oh. She kind of looks like the adoring fan from uh, Oblivion. Yes, oh great and mighty grand champion. Left closed. Right closed. I kind of want, if I pick left eye closed, right eye closed, that the whole screen is just black when I go to actually play it. Eye style. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. This is this is kind of what I'm looking for. Like beady little rat eyes. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. 
I don't want to edit each one separately. Even though that's really... Damn, that's kind of a good idea. Is what if I do one eye, that, and then I do the other one as like green, exclusively green, and then bigger so that it really evens out. And that's when I learned this is better. Yup. She's just winking at you right now, like. Nose. I'm trying to do this whole thing sideways and then we'll see how it looks when we're done. Oh no, tip depth. Oh yeah, baby. Why go in when we can go out? Tip angle? Nope, that one. Lower, sharpness. Wow. It's like a jet plane on the front of her face. This is the classic Pinocchio nose that I was thinking of. And then this, this is a new model. I wasn't aware that I needed this model. I'm thinking we do that. We're gonna do the smart thing here and we're gonna take off all hair. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, oh God. I, I thought it was gonna be a smart move. What if we do like... <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> we'll come back to hair. Ears. All right, what do we got? I think let's go with the sharp ones for starters. How sharp can I get them? Yup. Yup. Hear me out. Hear me out. If I just... It's like I made Nosferatu's grandma. What? She's got big, spooky, old school, black and white vampire movie energy, but like with huge knockers and a fat dump truck. Cheeks. Chubby cheeks. Kind of adorable. I know that she's our, our creepy grandma, which I kind of, you know what? We lost the plot. She's creepy grandma for a reason. We have to keep it creepy grandma. This is good. <laughs> I like this one. Let's get to our mouth now. Big high, big, ooh. Width? No, 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 no. She's got kissing lips. She's got grandma kissing lips. Luscious puckering lips. We, this, we must finalize a hairstyle. Maybe, maybe a good grandma-ly hairstyle like number four here can bring us back down to earth. This is solid. This is grandpa. See, but I don't want it to be like so, like this is, I think this is good. This is still loose and wavy enough. It's got some, some kind of grunge to it while still keeping the grandma-ly vibes. Ooh, we can do sort of a hombre. I think the roots need to be gray. They really don't, they, these are all fairly normal looking. They don't let you do colorful hair in this. If I can't go pink or blue, then I'm gonna stay gray. I mean, we could do like that. <laughs> That's, there's a certain grandma energy to that. I didn't even think about the grandma afro. That's Ice Spice, oh my God. We have slowly been constructing fantasy grandma Ice Spice. And I go like bright red with it too. Here we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> it's fantasy grandma Ice Spice. All right, hold on, let's see what else we got. Eyebrows. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. We've added elements of Mr. Bean to the mix. I don't know why, but I feel like Gilbert Gottfried would voice this character. It's me, Dick Dumpy Grandma. And I'm here to tell you, I love you. I see it. I give her a little makeup. She doesn't look pretty. I'm thinking maybe a little orange and then make it very intense. Let's crank that up. Oh, the shine. She's gonna be crashing GPUs. See, now we've got cheek metallic. I kind of want to just make her whole face very shiny. Opacity, 100. Metallic, 100. She's so shiny. Bright red. Ooh, the rose is, is nice. I like that. I don't think she needs the freckles, though. It kind of feels like a hat on a hat. Lip style. This is very important. Big, shiny purple. I want it glowing. Oh, my. It's not disrespect to the freckles. It's that I'm making her face incredibly shiny. And I don't... Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> no! 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 I wasn't prepared for that. 
Well, this is gonna haunt my dreams. Wait, I can... I can turn off teeth? I can turn off teeth? Are you kidding me? What if I turn off every other one? That's good. And then we gotta keep the pattern alternating. <laughs> what am I, why am I allowed to do this? How's no teeth at all look? Oh, she got them gums though. I, I think we gotta give her one. She's got like such Betty Boop energy until she opens her mouth. <laughs> Tattoos now. Oh, this thing is horrifying. I love it. Oh, bright blue is, is fantastic. Yep. Let's move it up a little bit. I don't want to lose it though. That face is important. Let's just go like right there. Let's do a leg tattoo. What if I just do this screaming face on every, on every body part? Yup, yup, yup. Right leg, hold on. Same deal. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the way it just slowly rises up out of the pants. <laughs> This is great. Dirt. I don't know if it's just because she's so oiled up, but I don't see a difference. Dirt color. Coverage. Oh! Let's make her a little dirty. All right. Here is our creamy grandma. Let's see her in clothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to see the walk one more time. The swagger walk. Yeah. Strut your stuff, creamy grandma. Strut your stuff. <laughs> Vocation. So I also get to pick my job for creamy grandma. Fighter. Archer. <gasps> Yo, different clothes. Which role? Oh. Oh, my. Or thief. Thief looks like barbarian. I'm feeling mage. That is like middle school principal assitude. And then voice. It gets a... It's the same voice, they just pitch it up and down. Okay. That's just, there's a, there's a charisma in that. An energy, an anger that she's channeling. Name! Wait, moniker? What the fuck is this? Cherry. Chun-Li? They got Chun-Li in here? Do you have Creamy? Is Creamy an option? Cotton, Crocodilia. So are these, oh, milk. That's good, milk. Do we just stick with Creamy Grandma? Or is, is Creamy Grandma just a colloquial term for her? Creamy, <laughs> milky mammy. Oh my, why does that fit? But cream, Creamy is cursed. Creamy dumpy. Cream on dump. <laughs> She's cream on dump. And she she whips it around and you go, God damn, cream on dump. It's got a lot going on, but it's solid. Finalize this character and proceed. One final turnaround for good measure. Take it all in, gang. And then we hit save. Sounds good.